Kamala Harris is pulling ahead of Donald Trump. According to a new Marquette University Law School survey, Harris tops Trump by six points, 53% to 47% among likely voters nationwide. The poll published Thursday shows that when an independent candidate is introduced, she still leads Trump with 47% support compared to his 41% and 9% going to independent RFK Jr. In a multi-candidate field, Harris maintains the lead at 50%, Trump at 42%, RFK Jr. at 6 Libertarian Chase Oliver at 1 and Green Party candidate Jill Stein at 1%, and Cornell West at 0%. The tides do seem to have shifted a little since Harris replaced Biden at the top of the ticket. Another survey conducted by the Cook Political Report shows that battleground states Arizona, Nevada, and Georgia are now a toss-up. Last month, Trump had maintained a lead in all three. As of today, Harris leads Trump by less than one point, a shift of more than three points in Harris's direction. Um, it, it's impossible to overstate how close the election is right mm -hmm. now. Um, the swing states yeah. are all virtually tied. Um, you know, you've had a variety of polls. Some show Harris up a little bit. Some show Trump up a little bit. In, in Michigan, that was a more favorable polling for Harris. Pennsylvania was more favorable for Trump. But they're effectively toss-ups. Mm -hmm. um, Wisconsin is in that bucket too. And then you have the the kind of so the southern, southwest swing states: Arizona, Nevada, and then Georgia in the south. Um, you know, these are the six states that are most likely to decide the election. There's, you know, a couple different ways to slice them where, you know, if they, if they obviously, if they all go to one candidate or the other, then that's, that's the whole ball game. Um, whoever wins Pennsylvania is going to be really well positioned because Pennsylvania has a very large number of electoral votes. Michigan and Pennsylvania usually go the same way. They have in all the recent election cycles. But if they split for some reason, then mm -hmm. it could come down to Georgia. So it's, you know, we're all... We're all picking at our maps to find different uh, different strategies for our candidate. There's one crazy scenario because there's a couple states. Maine is one of them where the electoral votes get split, where um, where it's possible the three electoral votes it could be one for one candidate, two for the others. So it is possible to construct a scenario where they have uh, an exact uh, tie, yeah. <laughs> which would be uh, real fun. Um, you know, <laughs> the people writing and planning this season of American political life. Um, that's the uh, season finale I would like to see. But uh, any way you slice it, this election is incredibly close. That's why every little decision does matter. Um, you know, for instance, we've talked about the VP pick a lot in the last, um, I guess, just in the last three days. It was this week it happened. I know. It feels like we've been talking about it <laughs> for, for week, years. Week, for years. <laughs> for years. It was Monday. Dear God, is this real? Is this still... <laughs> Is there a world out there beyond this studio? Have we just been here all our lives? We're like waiting for Godot at this point. That's how I'm going to feel if this election is a dead tie, Robbie. <laughs> that cannot happen. Not how after the last election, which was close, went. But I do think Harris did not do herself any favors last night in Michigan. So she was, you know, giving a speech. She had met with some organizers for Palestine mm. beforehand. They had talked about their demands and an immediate ceasefire. It was a productive conversation, it seems, from the reporting. We know that she's called for a ceasefire, but what we want is a, an immediate and permanent ceasefire, and we want an arms embargo. Mm -hmm. We don't want Netanyahu getting more weapons from the United States for this assault on Gaza. And so, uh, you know, some pro-Palestine protesters were shouting, yeah. and she said, uh, if you want Donald Trump to win, say that. Otherwise, I'm speaking. Yeah, so we're actually going to hold yeah. your commentary. We're going to do subsequently. Say, we're going to play. We're going to show the clip and talk about in it. In Michigan specifically, that matters. So yeah. when we're looking at the polling and we're looking at swing states, that could be a circumstance where, you know, maybe she wins Pennsylvania, but not Michigan. I don't know how many voters mm. will be impacted by this. We need a public stance. I, a lot of Michigan voters and organizers are looking for this from Kamala Harris on Gaza before the election. Otherwise, that would be crazy, but she could win PA, mm. but not Michigan. Well, we'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. Yes, we'll uh, show the clip. Yes, every, every little thing is going to matter. I think a debate between Trump and Harris, if it does take place, is actually going to matter. Um, it, it turned out, you know, people say it's, it's become common wisdom that the, the debates don't actually matter. If you think about it, the, the Trump-Biden debate, which took place, again, and that was only, what, a month and a half ago or something? Mattered more than any debate ever, That was ever, the maybe. most important uh, political debate in American history. 
that changed the trajectory of we have forked onto a different path because that debate took place, because it caused Biden to drop out. Trump's got to be kicking himself a little bit for agreeing to do this debate before the nominating convention. If they had not done this debate, and it's clear, all of Biden's people, his inner circle, were determined to drag him over the finish line. They were not, there was going to be no, Corrine uh, Jean-Pierre would be gaslighting you about cheap fake videos and, oh, he's fine, <laughs> see? Look, he can move his, she'll be holding him up with strings. He's fine. Right through to the convention, he would have given a speech at the convention where everyone would have been like, holy S-H-I-T, he can't talk. But it would have been too late, and then they would have debated, and uh, Donald Trump would have been elected to the presidency in a, not a land, in, in, comfortably. And uh, that was the future that was going to take place, but because they had the debate with just enough time, I guess they had a little bit of a window, but it's it, pretty close uh, time period, just enough time to rally the forces for Nancy Pelosi to orchestrate a coup against Joe Biden, which she basically admits to doing. I was just seeing, um, I was seeing this on Twitter this morning. She admits to um, doing in the most mom boss way possible. Yeah, I, I tweeted like she's the, uh, she's the queen who never was. She says, wait, let me. Oh, People are calling her the Ben and Jesserit, Robbie. Um, yeah, she said, she said this of Joe, this is a profile of her in the New Yorker. She said of, of Joe Biden when asked about his, the effort to push him out, I was never impressed with his political operation. They won the White House, bravo. But my concern was this ain't happening and we have to make a decision for this to happen. Like, wow. She's saying the quiet part out loud. She's admitting all of this. He's still the, he's still the president, right? Right? He's still doing, this is uh, Man, he, did, he does not, they don't fear crossing him at all. She was asked about her relationship with him. If it's fine, how is it? She said, you'll have to ask him. Yeesh. I think we, we can tell how their relationship is at this point, Robbie, but I do think there's a world where Biden and Trump didn't debate. They didn't agree to debate. They were like, you know us. We've both been president. Just pick. Um, and <laughs> they did. It's not unreasonable. <laughs> no, that could have happened. And then they did the convention and then Biden has his prompter. He does well because it's not a situation where he has to think on his feet yeah. and he's not prepped with a million talking well, points he can't remember. It is past his bedtime. That would, the conventions run very late. Yeah, uh, it's past my bedtime. He would have spent the morning napping or something. But no, I think he could have done okay at the convention and then been the president. And that would have been worse, somehow worse than, mm. well, worse than what we have now by a lot. But imagine he gets into office and then we see his cognitive decline, the 25th Amendment's invoked, the country's in chaos. That would be horrible. Yeah. Oh, oh, but for the butterfly flapping its wings a little bit differently, we would be living in a different timeline. I mean, we also almost had the replacement of both major candidates because let, let us not forget, Donald Trump was in the midst of all this happening very nearly assassinated mm -hmm. by a gunman. And, and uh, you know, that, like, that happened in the midst of this. It could have been a transformation of both parties' leadership. That would have been so crazy, it's difficult to even contemplate. And it came this close to happening. Still can't believe it. Still yeah. processing it. I know most people are. What a, what a summer it's when been. When everyone was saying, we're gonna forget about Trump's assassination attempt, I was like, that's ridiculous. But then we've had quite a few weeks. We haven't forgotten about it. Well, we but haven't forgotten about I thought it. it would be Our much viewers, I'm sure, haven't forgotten about it. But yeah. uh, some of you have the mainstream media forgotten about it. Where's the? It's not talked about as much analysis? as I think I thought it would be right after it happened. But a lot has happened. Yeah, maybe nothing's talked about as much as you think it's going to be talked about because just something new happens in our news cycle. Um, again, I feel like we've been talking about Tim Walls for the entirety of my life, but it has only been since Monday. Oh, so, Robbie. <laughs> anyway, we have a lot more to get to in the show today. Uh, we will figure out if all of this is real, if it's really happening. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. More rising after this. <laughs>